Echinacea purpur purpurea, cone flower. I'm sorry this is no better than it is. We won't worry a whole lot about it, but it is important. Uh, the thing I guess you might would confuse this with to some extent is uh, maybe Rudbeckia, but it's got no harsh pubescence on it. What'd you call it? Purple yeah, Echinacea purpurea. Okay. Eventually, this thing becomes another rosette of foliage, maybe to uh, typically six inches to a foot tall, and then sends up uh, flower structures that are, end in terminal flowers that are purple uh, ray flowers with uh, disc flowers that actually occur in a projection. So that's why they call it a cone flower. It's almost like it's got a little cone up there in the middle. All right, purple. The, the, the disc flowers are typically sort of a brownish dark color, all right, and that would be the reason uh, for the purple cornflower, all right. You can feel that. It's got winged petiole as well. Uh, somewhat of a, can have a little bit of a rough uh, texture, but typically it's a lot much smoother and much glossier than the Rudbeckia. All right, and finally we have Budlia davidii, all right, the butterfly bush. This thing uh, kind of has sort of a, a dusty, grayish appearance to the stems and the, the foliage looks sort of dirty okay kind of a dusty appearance to the foliage as well this foliage always sort of recurves like this always sort of has this this nice little uh, curve and almost a little bit of undulation to it all right very soft uh, foliage as well but very uh, almost linear to a lanceolate uh, with a little bit of a margin on it Eventually will become more of a shrub, but does die back. So you're looking at maybe five, six foot tall max and a nice rounded shrub. And then uh, on the terminal ends of the, the branches, there will be uh, nice uh, panicles or uh, panicles, uh, spikes of flowers that are maybe six inches long. And if you guys have seen uh, Vitex, like from last semester, it's very similar to that. Okay, so spikes of purple flowers that uh, are individuals, but because they're so uh, profusely born on those spikes, they are uh, relatively showy. Okay, also can have pinks and whites as well, but purples are are the uh, the most common. Unlike the vitex, this has a simple leaf. The vitex doesn't, right? Uh, yes, yes, the vitex is uh, lobed, compoundly lobed. Mm -hmm. All right. Questions?